girl, like, wh where's your spending money? Ooh, calm down now. 300. I can do some damage with that. I feel comfortable telling my family now that I am available to hang out. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, My Kind of Budget. My name is Christina, for those of you joining me for the first time, and this is My Kind of Budget. I hope that you guys are all doing well. I'm not gonna lie, your girl is feeling a little pre-overwhelmed just because I'm an overthinker and I just, it just hit me that I'm gonna be very busy for like the next six weeks and I wanna make sure that I'm putting out videos for you all. And so I've just been at my desk just like planning out which videos I want to do, but how to still incorporate cash stuffing. And I feel like I've got it all figured out. And so if I wanna do what I really want to do by when I had originally wanted to do it, then I need to cash stuff this video <laughs> or these envelopes today and this video the way I'm going to do it okay I feel like it's gonna be all good so just stick with me because I'm actually very excited for the videos that I'm going to be putting out the, within the next after this week the next five weeks so let's go ahead get to stuffing you see your girl the wallet is here I feel like I haven't stuffed her for you guys for a while so we're going to be stuffing my wallet. We're going to be doing some coins. I don't have nearly as many coins as I had before for the last coin stuffing. And then we're going to be focusing on the sinking funds that have savings challenges for this video. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so let's count to see how much we're stuffing because I don't remember. Um, it's 50, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 207, 209, 211, 213, 214, 215. And so let's start off with the wallet because we haven't seen her get stuffed in a while. I'm always like not sure what people are interested in seeing getting stuffed or not. There is money left over, so we'll see what's getting rolled over to treat myself. And I have $11 for rollover. And then for household, my budget I think was $10. And there is $2 rollover. And then I actually forgot to get money out the bank for miscellaneous, so I'll just take it out leave this as rollover and add if I need to. One, two, three, four, there's four dollars. So I'll give myself a dollar to have five because it's in my budget, but I forgot to take it out. Um, and then treat yourself. This is what I put any rollover into. And this is my like spending money for myself. Uh, my boyfriend is working on his budget now and he was like so you don't have spending money I'm like <laughs> not really like that's why I have a treat myself envelope in my wallet and that's what I use to like buy what I want or anything that I haven't already budgeted for like if I want to go to caribou coffee or if I want to go you know to the dollar store or whatever and buy something for myself I will take it out of treat yourself that's that's my treat and so yeah so if anybody's wondering like girl like wh where's your spending money it, it's here otherwise it's all budgeted for and I stick to my budget um so treat yourself now has 10 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 dollars and I I don't know I 
I might find something to spend it on. We'll see. And then groceries is going to be getting $30. And I know I wanted 10s for this. I made my meals for the week today and I had absolutely everything. Like I'm all out of shrimp, but I have enough food and didn't need to go grocery shopping for anything. And so I don't know. Let me know in the comments section, like, how do you, do you plan for meals? Cause I'm, I'm a planner and I think about what I have, what I would like to eat with that. Do I need any extra ingredients and then budget out, you know, just finding out what I need to buy. What is your process for determining your groceries budget? Um, I'm interested because I feel like I know for me, this works out. And I think a lot of people are like, that's not enough money. I just, I buy what I need most times um, or freeze it. So let me know in the comment section, what's your process? I'm interested. Maybe I can get some tips. Household is going to be getting $15. I need to go stock up on uh, like toilet paper, paper towel, things like that. And then we already did miscellaneous. And I haven't showed you guys this in a while. This is my little tracker. This is from the first paycheck of March. And I do go and like update it if I spend anything. And so once I get done cash stuffing, I will go and update it again. It's laminated. So I just take some alcohol, spray it, wipe it, and rewrite it. So yeah. That is the wallet. Let's get into some coins. Yes. All right. I'm ready to stuff some coins and do some little coin ASMR. And you know, we got to whisper because that's just what you do, right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> but before we get into the coin stuffing, I definitely want to do some shout outs to some other YouTubers who have shouted your girl out. Definitely go check out their channels and let them know that Christina at My Kind of Budget sent you. Uh, first one I want to give a shout out to is Sierra at Seymour Plans. I believe that she is just, just starting out for the first time with cash envelope stuffing. And I don't know of anyone that has started YouTubing and having no experience with cash stuffing i feel like a lot of people are probably like me and maybe waited a year or two before they started a channel but i want to say that sierra is like just starting out um so go show her some love support her channel and her journey the next person i want to shout out is kimberly at bayesian girl budgets congratulations to her for finishing her savings challenges binder and now she is not wasting any time to get started with binder 2.0 Oh, and she's got that thing packed with savings challenges. And I believe one of my freebies is in there. And so definitely go check her out and cheer her on as she completes that 2.0 binder. The next budgeter I want to give a shout out to is Donna, the cash stuffing realtor. I could probably listen to her talk all day. You know what? I actually might just start when I'm driving, like just playing her video so I can hear her talk. Cause I'm not a really big fan of listening to music while I drive, but I can listen to a podcast or somebody talk. So definitely go check out Donna's channel. A final shout out I wanna give, put out there is Renee at Patina DeVille Designs. That name is just so like, like posh. Patina DeVille Designs. You probably have already watched her vi video. I feel like it's kind of viral in the budgeting community where she showcases 600, like 600, 600 freebies out here in these budgeting streets, you guys. Thank you for taking the time to go and find all of those. And then also linking where we can go and find those. So y'all already know free 99 is in your girl's budget. I'm pretty sure it's in yours. Definitely go check out her channel and let all of these beautiful people know that your girl Christina sent you and let's support one another. Now let's get into this keep the change savings challenge. 
So this is what we're stuffing today. I don't know if you can see inside there. It is nowhere near as much as the last coin stuffing. Um, but here's what the challenge is looking like so far. Really trying to get out these higher numbers. I don't know. With what we have today, I think we can get... What's the next one? 93? I think we can for sure get 93 and some other things. So, all right. Let's see how much we have. We have 20, 50... 75 we're looking for 93 75 85 here we go oh that's 95 85 86 87 88 Ooh! 88 89 90 91 i'll just do 91 and then this is 25 50 60 91 and 60 so let's do that and then we have 91 so this challenge is one of the ones that i'm redesigning for a freebie and i thought that maybe when i was doing it i was like oh one of the numbers like there was an extra number, but when I looked through it again just now, there isn't an extra number. So I don't know. I'm going to double check the freebie, the redesign freebie to make sure that it's only one through 100. Because I feel like I thought I saw two of one number, but when I just checked, I don't see it. So maybe I didn't. Uh, the next one was 60. 60 is all the way over here. All right, we're getting somewhere and we can save $50.50 with this one if it is indeed one through 100, which I think it is. Maybe I just am overthinking, which I can sometimes do. All right, now let's get into the ASMR. Um, we're going to go ahead and stuff these savings challenges that are in the high priority sinking funds binder and the 
regular level, lower level, I guess, sinking funds binder. And the first one is this emergency fund. We are going to be doing $50 to knock out another one of these icons, which there are four of. So let's go ahead and get, oh, I'll stuff it first. $50. And let's see how much is in here. 50, 1, 50, 2, 250, 270, 290, 295. Oh my god, 300. What? 300, 305 dollars out of 1,000 for the emergency fund. If you don't have an emergency fund, like I think it's important to have whether you, I think especially if you own a home, um, but just in general, it doesn't need to be a thousand. It could be a hundred dollars. It could be anything. Like if you just need to tap into something, like having some money set aside, I think is important, which is why I think for this challenge, I made it to where um, I can set the denominations or the amounts. And this is also going to be one of the ones that when it finally happens, when I launch my shop, will be available. Let's do this one here. I can never tell like where I am on the camera with this. But yeah, my favorite type of savings challenges are the ones where it's either low denominations or I can set it myself. And then next we're going to do the savings cash envelope. And this one has a $1,000 savings challenge in it. This is a freebie. She's getting a redesign as well. And we're going to do $50. I think I'm going to do red for this one. If you can't tell, I love colors and I love coloring. And so while I could have done purple again, we already did it. And I want this to be colorful. So... There goes red. And then let her dry for a little bit. And we'll take the 50 and see how much we have in this envelope. So 50, 100, 50, 250. What was that 250? Oops. Okay, let me know. Let's reverse. <laughs> 50, 100, 50, 200, 250. 50, 100, 50, 200, 270, 290, 300. 300, 310, 320 out of 1,000 dollars. So happy. We're basically like a third of the way done with that challenge. And then the next envelope that has a savings challenge is P.O. Box. And I just need $100. So this one is getting $15. And we're going to have to do some math for this. And let's see, 15. Let's finish this. Oh, I don't want to do this too. So that's 15 minus 2 is 13. So we'll do a 3. Actually, I think this row would work out. So that's 5, and then 6 plus 4 is 10, which is 15. So yay, we are, we're knocking out another row for this one. Shout out to all my team color peeps. I am a fellow team color. This is for you. All right, so we've got basically like half of it done, which is nice. I need to finish that by the summer. And let's do a 10 and a five. Oof, yeah, this really needs to be cash condensed, um, which is coming up. Very excited to do that video, but I need some time. I don't know. I don't want to say too much. Just know that the cash condensing video is coming up. 
and it was one of the reasons why I'm cash stuffing this way. <laughs> so we have uh, 10, 20, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Yeah, 44 um, out of 100. So pretty much half in a way. Great, we're making good progress with that. And then the last chat, ooh, calm down now. Now we're gonna do MKB and I was just, I don't know if I'll leave it in or not, but I'm like, why do I have so much money left over? And I forgot that I also wanted to just go ahead and stuff. I didn't do a budget sheet this time, I just did it in my little notebook. Um, so these little green, marks are the envelopes that have savings challenges so um my kind of budget savings challenge is in the sinking funds binder and then i'm just gonna go ahead and cash what i would like to go in the six sinking fund envelopes that i typically play a game with for the sake of doing what i want to do for videos i'm just gonna go ahead not play and just stuff it and I'm going to show you that I'm putting $10 in cats, $5 in protein. I finally went and got my protein shakes, y'all. $5 in clothing, treat myself $5, small business, $5, and family time is getting tenderless. So that's why I have so much money here because I was like, why is all of that there? And it's because I'm stuffing more than just one envelope <laughs> in this video. Um, so my kind of budget has a savings challenge. I'm going to use red and then it's getting 15. Let's see, 15. I know there's another 15 in here. Yeah. So down here. Oh, Wow. I colored pretty neatly with this one. I don't know how that happened, but I'm all about that life. 15, so we have 10, oh, there's a 20 in here. 10 and five. This savings challenge is 500 dollars. So right now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85. 87, 88, right? Yeah, $88. And then let's go ahead and just stuff regularly for these ones. Family time is getting $10. And now has 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I feel comfortable telling my family now that I am available to hang out. <laughs> Clothing is going to be getting $5. I might start doing more in this one because I've got a very special place that I'm going to that I might need to buy something for. Um, Clothing now has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. 105, 110, 112, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 122 dollars. And then treat myself is getting five dollars. And this is what I'm hoping. I mean, it's outside of my wallet treat myself. I think for this, I'm going to use it for like a salon visit. And I'm, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure how much those cost these days. It seems like it costs quite a lot. I don't know. I might have to find somebody who does hair in their house or something. I don't know. <laughs> but Treat Myself now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 dollars i'll ask my mom where she gets her hair done because i think that person charges a good price 
and from what I remember her telling me, and they are not in their house. They are in a shop. Protein shakes is getting five dollars. I have run out of fives. So wait, did I run out of fives? Maybe I did. And that's why I'm using twos and ones. Like I really need to do a cash condensing video because I am not buying any more fake money. That's not in my budget. Uh, let's see, five dollars. Okay, now protein shakes. I did go and take out the money from buying protein shakes because it was time. So now it has 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27. And that is a perfect amount to buy another case when I need it. Absolutely. Now we have small business. You guys, I have a cart full of savings challenges that I would like to buy. But I'm like, do I want to use all of my money on budgeting things or like support other types of small businesses? Because that's what this is for. So I'm going to review my cart <laughs> and try to knock off a lot of those challenges. Maybe keep, I wonder if you can save some for later, but I would love to get some scratch offs. Um, I have my, oh, you know what? Speaking of scratch offs, if you are interested in getting your hands on this set of scratch offs that your girl has made, um, you need to go check out this video here to figure out how, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Mm. Uh, now I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so the cart. I'm going to review it and channel it down and hopefully you'll get to see some other scratchers on here anyway uh five dollars for this one two four five and now small business has 10 15 20 22 24 what? 24 uh 29 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 i can i can do some damage with that so yes i will do a small business haul at some point how about that i can i think that's a cool video last is cats uh, and these little demons are getting ten dollars. <laughs> oh, I went and bought kitty litter, so my house smells great. Now cats has ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-six dollars. And we'll need to keep building that up because they are due for some food soon. And now <sighs> we are finished, and she is thick 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 all right you guys we're all done with this video thank you so much for tuning in keep an eye out for the videos coming out for the next well, including this one the next six weeks because we're going to be doing way more than just cash stuffing i'm actually very excited despite being slightly overwhelmed with my very busy schedule so show your girl some love and go ahead and watch all of those videos. And don't forget to like and comment. And uh, for sure, go and check out See More Plans, Bayesian Girl Budgets, The Cash Stuffing Realtor, and Patina DeVille Designs. Go let them know that your girl Christina from My Kind of Budget sent you and check out their channels. All of those links will be in the description box. I hope that you have a wonderful day or whatever time that you're watching this. Take care of yourself because I'm trying to take care of myself and I will see you in the next video where we will be cash stuffing my saving challenges binder and the minis if two of those saving challenges are kind to your girl. All right, that's it. Bye.